So now we're ready to talk about the first continuous random distribution that we're gonna cover. Okay, it's called the uniform distribution. And you probably heard about this or still remember about this because we mentioned this really briefly um, at the beginning, the first lecture of the, of the semester of thinking about doing uniform distribution, especially like the sum of two uniform distribution between zero and one, if you remember that. Okay, so now we are formally going to define this. Okay, so we have a continuous probability distribution. Okay, this is the uniform that has some constant value C between alpha and beta, okay, where alpha is smaller than beta. Okay, so what this is saying is that, so again, this is a continuous random variable, right? So we're working with a continuous random variable with the PMF, a PDF, sorry, over here, okay? And what this is saying is that the PDF is gonna be a constant, okay? If it's in particular range, alpha between alpha and beta, okay, it's gonna be zero otherwise, okay? And the thing is, is while we have learned it and saw the examples just now, that, well, we can solve the C, right? Because we know that uh, this PDF should be valid, right? So if I integrate over the real line, it should be one, okay? But then in particular, uh, like I said, we are able to narrow down to the context. It's gonna be uh, F, uh, Fx is C in this range. So we're doing a specific integral over here that we're gonna know that it's gonna be one, right? So we're integrating C, a constant, uh, with respect to random variable x from alpha to beta, right? And then we know that, well, that is the same as C, uh, that, that, equi equi that equals to C times beta minus alpha, the difference. So we know that this C, even though we know that it's a constant, but actually it's gonna be a specific constant. It's gonna be the specific constant of one over beta minus alpha. Okay, so this is like we're talking about, we are getting it by the definition, of CDF given here, right? And then also by the well-defined or validness of the um, PDF function itself or the random uh, distribution itself. So we can solve that C is one over the difference of beta and alpha, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, we have a uniform distribution, okay? And meaning that the, C, uh, the PDF is a constant in a particular range, okay? So we define the continuous random variable X has a uniform distribution on the interval, okay, alpha and beta, okay? That um, if it's PDF is this, okay? So here uh, we write X is a uniform distribution right between alpha and beta, okay? And that is saying that the, CD, uh, the PDF, right? The FX function over here, right? Is the constant that we just solved one over B, uh, beta minus alpha, Okay, and then multiplies with, so this is the indicator function. Okay, so if X is in this range, it's gonna be one. If it's not in this range, that's gonna be zero. So that's the equivalent of saying this, okay? If X is between alpha and beta, then we have the uh, PDF one over beta minus alpha, right? Or if it's outside this range, it's gonna be zero. Okay, so this is what we mean by an indicator function. Okay, so one way or another where we can express it. Um, so as long as you understand what we're talking about in terms of the uh, PDF uh, expression, I think you should be good. Alrighty, so uh, from the PDF, of course, we can always go to the uh, CDF. Okay, so now let's take the chance to work it out as an example. Um, not only just for the uniform to know the property of uniform, but also just to know how usually you can get from uh, PDF to the CDF, okay? So PDF, right, is F, okay? And again, this is the example of using a dummy variable just to uh, make sure that we don't do um, duplicating those expression, okay? So the CDF function, okay, Fx, okay? So it's integrating up to X itself, right? So we're using a T, okay? So Ft, dt, right? Integrating from negative infinity to X, the small X, so small X is a constant over here, okay? So that is the same as we know, okay? If X is in this particular range, okay, it's going to be integrating from the lower bar, which is alpha, because everything below alpha, we know that FT is zero by definition of the, C, of the PDF earlier, right? So we're integrating of this FT, which is the constant one over beta minus alpha, okay, integrating it from alpha to X, okay? And then if we do the math right, you will see that this is the CDF, right? If X is in the range of alpha and beta, okay? So given this, in, given all of this, we can actually write out our CDF, okay? So remember the CDF usually have multiple cases as well, just like the discrete random variable. So if X 
follows a new uniform distribution um, between alpha and beta, then it's CDF. If X is smaller or equal to alpha, then the CDF is zero, okay? If it's in this range, we just calculate it. If it's greater or equal to the upper bar or upper bound, then we know that the CDF is one. Okay, so this is again similar to what we have seen because you integrate to all of the points already. Okay, so graphically, okay, the left hand side is the PDF. Okay, and we know that the PDF is a constant, right, between alpha and beta. So it's a constant. Okay, it's a vertical line over here from alpha to beta, and then everything everywhere else is zero. Okay, it's just not um, computed or like not shown over here, but that's what we mean here. Okay, uh, but on the CDF, okay. We know that everything up to alpha is zero, okay? But then it's gonna be a straight line to A, oh sorry, to one, okay? Okay, when you reach beta on the x-axis and then from that on, it's gonna be one, okay? So again, um, this is a, a CDF of the a uniform distribution, okay? And um, keep in mind that like earlier when we work with continuous uh, discrete random variables, we have all kinds of like different shape of the uh, CDF, right? Like depending on where you jump to the next uh, level and stuff like that. Uh, here, the CDF for the uniform distribution is overall uh, straightforward to see.